power to the people I'm back for a reason if you clicked on this video I'll meet you with greetings another episode of Pull my back podcast is me your host Sebastian West follow me on Instagram at underscore Sebastian West where you can check out some dope artwork by me and a snippet of the upcoming episode that I dropped before I upload it on YouTube quiet place too oh we gonna clap it up for Quiet Place too. I went to the movie theater and I was thoroughly enjoyed. I left with a smile on my face, no complaints whatsoever. If you like Quiet Place One, please go check out Quiet Place Two. You do yourself a disservice if you do not go and check this film out. And salute to John Krasinski, if I'm not mistaken, and Emily Blunt, and the young lady who played the Death Girl, Mel Mel Millicent Simmons, or something like that. Pardon me. If I can't pronounce your name, pardon me. I'm not perfect. Pardon me. All right? Did a heck of a job, y'all. Let's get right into it. Quiet Place 2 picks up exactly where Quiet Place 1 left off. Now they're on the road trying to find some more people out there like themselves. They stumble across the, the friend of the family. Stumble across him. And he is kind of apprehensive about helping them at first. And then he feels some sort of conviction about helping him due to his friend dying, things of that nature. He can relate to him because his wife died and his son died. So he can relate to them. They're all alone, need some help. Oh, the son, when the son got caught in a bear trap, I was clenching my teeth. Heck of an acting job by, by, by him. Heck of a job. So yes, they, they stumble, upon, stumble upon this guy's fortress. They need his assistance due to the son. You know, they got the baby. They need some help. The daughter has some sort of inclination that the music that's being played on the radio, the only song that they can get is being played over and over. She has the inclination that that is a signal. It's a message in the song. Just like her father. She was just like her father. You know, smart. And a risk taker for sure and when her mind's made up it's, it's, it's nothing you can do so she goes out to she goes out on a journey on her own and the mom tells the friend like hey you gotta go you gotta go get my daughter like you can't leave her there like by herself like what are you thinking like you gotta help us you know you gotta help us monsters all you know monsters out there she's a girl she needs some help he goes he saves the day the girl was about to she shot one of the monsters and she balled up and the guy came and saved her life. Right? Boom. So moving right along. She tells him, listen, I know that I'm right. I, j I just know that I'm right. About this place, you know, on the island. Like, I know that I'm right. I know this song is, the frequency is coming from there. Like, I know this. He can, she convinces him. They go moving right along. They end up coming across some pirates. I would say, like, these guys were ruthless. Looked like pirates. Looked like something on Pirates of the Caribbean, honestly. They were ruthless, yo. Ruthless. I don't know if they were trying to capture them for some sort of reward to the monsters or something. I just didn't get their motives. Yet, the guy told her, the friend told her, that some people out here that aren't worth saving. Boom. And that's what we saw in this film. These are the people he was referring to. I like that. Also, they discovered that the monsters aren't able to swim. They figured that out. So they get on a boat and paddle to this island that the deaf girl has, you know, some sort of inclination that, hey, this is where it's at. Stumbled upon an island, she was right. Boom, she was right. He told, you know, the friend told her, yes, you were right. I apologize. Yeah, I should have believed in you, etc., etc. Now, back where mom the baby and the brother they're getting in a mix he, he the mom went to get medicine for his leg and he's decides to go in this curious George escapade a monster come after him in this steel yard where he's located at he passes out because he don't have enough oxygen the baby's crying the mom you know, pops up, monster is trying to get inside the, the their little cubby. Just a whole 
crap storm of turmoil, you know? <laughs> like it was it was crazy. She had to save him and save him. Uh, she told him to stay put it in the state put because boys gonna be boys. You know we don't listen, you know. We, was young. we didn't listen, we didn't care about that. We did what we wanted to do. Saved him. You know, the mom saved him. He did he had the courage to actually clap one of the monsters too. I like that. The daughter makes it to the radio station. One of the monsters was there. She used, you know, the frequency from, you know, of course, if you haven't seen part one, you, then you know what I'm referring to. If you have, you know what I'm referring to. When she turned the radio up, you know, used the ear, uh, her um, hearing aid, turned the frequency up. The, it, it affects the monster. She stabbed him. Bada bing, bada boom. Looks like it's going to be a happy ending. Should we say that? You know, from Quiet Place 2. Phenomenal film. I mean, once again, salute to John Krasinski, Emily Blunt. Terrific job, terrific writing, directing, cinematography. My hat goes off to those two. They, and the Death Girl, of course, pardon me. They smash this film, man. Great film. I'm going to give Quiet Place 2 one piece of Sebastian's artwork. I'm going to give it two pieces of Sebastian's artwork. I'm gonna give it three pieces of Sebastian's artwork. I'm gonna give it four pieces of Sebastian's artwork. Five pieces of Sebastian's artwork. Six pieces of Sebastian's artwork. Seven pieces of Sebastian's artwork. Eight pieces of Sebastian's artwork. Eight and a half. It's .5. Give it an eight and a half out of ten. The only reason it doesn't get anything higher than that due to the running time of the movie. I wish it was longer. I'm a fan of long movies, yo. I can sit there two hours and thirty minutes and be thoroughly enjoyed. If it's good writing, directing, you know, let's not get it twisted. So yes, eight and, a half, eight and a half out of ten. Go check out Quiet Place Two. Phenomenal film. Remember, big shots number the little shot that kept shooting. And if you don't like my reviews, cut me some slack. If that ain't good enough, pardon my time that I drop another episode. Hold it down. Pardon my back. It's me, Sebastian West. Salute.